Good morning, everybody. You guys are watching Bet Flips. It is December 2nd. I am Sean, and we are back at it. Yesterday, not a good start to the month. Um, not terrible, but we went one and two. Uh, we lost on our free play. Our free plays, that is where we need work. And we're going to definitely improve that this month. Uh, last month, I'm, I'm still trying to get all the free play numbers. But I know it was right about 500 for the free plays. So we're going to work on that this month. We got off to an 0-1 start. Uh, we lost uh, the Senators. They pretty much weren't in it after the second period. And we also talked about how the line was sitting at 7. And that scared me. I should have just taken under 7. They got six goals, so it looked like that was going to even clear, but then they didn't have any scoring in the third period at all. Um, so definitely said I missed the mark on that one. And then also we lost on Kansas and UConn over 148 and a half. That definitely should have ended up with a good chance of coming in. Um, UConn had the ball down by two. And they were going to tie it up. But instead, one of their players, and I can't remember what his name was. I know it started with an S. He shot a three. He's one for seven on three-point shots for the day. And he had five points total. I don't know why he didn't pass the ball to a guy under the hoop and just tie it up, force overtime. And then our points would have kept on going and a good chance of getting over. So that should have happened. Bad decision on a college player cost us there. And then we did win one game. Our one game that we won was in the NBA. Uh, that was the Knicks at plus two. They won outright. That game was a great game by the Knicks all around. And so we ended up going one and two yesterday. So losing just over a unit there. Um, I talked about a recap uh, coming uh, for the month of November. And man, the month of November, we were absolutely on fire. Um, absolutely just a great month. One of our top months of all time, definitely in the top five. And so our total month, we ended up going 61 and 28 with the 68.5 winning percentage. That's unbelievable. And then since we kind of re-transitioned our model to three plays a day and we'll see how that goes we ended up going 50 and 22 with an even higher winning percentage at 69.4 percent just an unbelievable month we had uh, if i go back to it i think it was four days where we were three and oh and if you only have premium plays minimal and you hit those three and oh days that almost guarantees that um, you're going to have a positive month. It, you may not hit your goal. Our goal was to hit 10 units. We ended up hitting a whopping 27.6 units for the month of November. So uh, absolutely unbelievable. And that just goes to show you our plan is working. Now, we're not going to hit 27.6 units every single month. So there'll, there'll be months where we even lose units. So uh, that will happen. But for us for our model to change and it to show right on the first month that we're doing the right thing and making the right moves and our bankroll is going to be growing. So that is absolutely amazing. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop anything down below. And because we've been doing so well, um, I want to have a great fun Saturday. It's college football all day long, and we've got three college football plays. I'm going to give away all three of them, so we're going to get right into it right now. Our first college football play is going to be Alabama on the money line at plus 160. They're playing the number one seed, Georgia, but Nick Saban is 7-0 and in conference championship games, and he's got a track record like nobody else, and... I'm just going to take Alabama on this. I think that, that they've got a good shot of surprising Georgia and and winning this one outright. So um, you can trail me if you want, but that is our first free play of the day. Alabama plus 160. I see a ton of value in that. Then our second play is going to be Michigan, Iowa, Big Ten Championship. 
We are going to take the over 34 and a half. Found that one at FanDuel at minus 115. Um, I think that despite Iowa's defense being incredible, I think Michigan can definitely get 28 points on this team. And I think Iowa can score one touchdown somewhere, some way. And I think there's going to be five touchdowns in this game. That's 35 points. That gets us over the 34 and a half. I absolutely love this play. Super excited about this game. It might be terribly boring to watch, but we'll see. Um, love the 34 and a half over in this one. And then finally, we've got our, uh, we've got Florida State and Louisville uh, playing, and I love Florida State in this one. We're going to take Florida State on the money line at minus 120. Uh, that is our final free play of the day. I like Florida State to take care of business in this one. Uh, Louisville uh, is just not on the same level as Florida State, so um, I love all three of these plays. If you guys like anything else, feel free to drop a comment down below. And as always, I appreciate every single person that takes time to watch this video. It's a little long today, so I do apologize about that. But have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bet. Flip. Cash.